Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November the 11th. Hey, we're going to be joined by the guys who are going to help us all up and down this Coosa River and up into Gunnersville, down into Lake Martin and everything, try to help us put a few more fish in the boat. We'll be right back with what our team has to say. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November the 11th. Hey, we're joined by Gentry Gordy, going to talk a little fishing down there, lower end of the state. Gentry, let's start at Lake Martin. What's going on down there? Uh, 12 inches, Dan O. I mean, just, you know, it's, <laughs> they're everywhere, but man, to get, really hardly haven't even seen a 13 pound bag, you know, it's, um, I wish I had something to tell you on catching some quality fish. Um, I just don't, I mean, you know, they're few and far between, but the amount of a pound and a halfers, golly, they're everywhere. And you can pick your poison on what to do. I mean, if you want to go throw a swim bait all day, they'll eat it. If you want to throw a shaky head and trash piles all day, they'll eat it. Your two pounders, they're still deep, but you know, they're dropping the water so fast at Martin. Them fish are just pulling out with it. They haven't had time to adjust. So, you know, usually this time of year, you can go up there and real shallow but your two pounders are still coming out of 15 18 foot of water yeah it sounds like it might be a great time to just go do some fun fish and take some kids a beginner somebody that wants to learn how to fish teach them a little something right yep and it probably wouldn't hurt if you could take them and uh it probably wouldn't hurt if you could take them at home and have a fish fry because <laughs> there's there's a, there's a lot of them in there you know what i mean there's almost too many all right let's turn to jordan jordan's that spotted bass factory bunch of good spotted bass in there what are you hearing out of jordan um I, I did talk to my same buddy again because I hadn't had a chance to get up there. He said the, the afternoon top water bite is still going on. Um, but he said that, you know, a lot of your better fish, too, are starting to pick up if you get, you know, a little bit of wind up there. Um, they're thumping a spinner bait and a chatter bait. And he said they're, you know, still catching a couple of decent ones off of a trash pile or a bigger, I mean, a deeper dock. Um, but it's just about covering water this time of year. Uh, it, it, so just about anything, find current breaks, rocks, a little bit of dying grass or something. Is that what you want to do there? Yeah, well, anytime you're up that river or, you know, when it goes to narrow up, your current breaks and your eddies and stuff like that. But down the river, it's just, it's really, you know, get into a decent sized pocket and see about where that bait is. And they'll kind of tell you, you know, if they're in the front of the pocket, the back of the pocket, because it changes, you know, with this crazy temperature we have. Yeah, I know. It seems to be falling a little bit. Uh, we found 56 to 59 degree water up here. What are you looking at down there? What do you think? Uh, Probably still in that Martin, upper 50s, 60s. Yeah. It, and I know for sure Martin was still uh, 68, 69. Wow. Um, yeah, it was still a little bit warm up there. Get some cold nights. It'll drop on off. Gentry, as always, man, we appreciate it. Please be safe out there, and we'll talk to you again next week, brother. All right, guys. Take care. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan <laughs> with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November the 11th. Hey, we're joined by Josh Heron from Tato Designs. He's in the Mad Scientist Laboratory today working on a few beats. Josh, what's going on at Logan Martin and Lay Lake? Oh, uh, I mean, you know, Lay, we had that big drawdown. It is kind of, it came back up. Everything seems to be kind of, we're at a really weird water temp on the coaster right now it seems like we are from top to bottom it's anywhere from 62 to 67 depending on where you look so i think we we got a big cold snap i just don't think they necessarily felt it yet so there's fish scattered all over the place you can catch fish on the river right now you can catch fish in the back of pockets right now but it doesn't seem like there's big clusters of fish anywhere to be honest with you and it seems like the bigger fish are almost like individual road that are kind of up chasing bait um so that that makes pattern fishing kind of tough but you you can run around right now you can throw uh, a little buzz bait uh, a chatter bait anything that that's going to imitate a shad really uh spinnerbait it doesn't particularly matter the the biggest thing with the conditions that we have now and that we're going to have for the next week is uh you need to cover a lot of ground yeah it's not it is not going to be a pull up sit and make a few casts or mill around it's you really need to be chewing up water right now and trying just to, to run into them. That doesn't lend itself to a flipping technique or to a shaky head no. or any of that stuff. It is pick up moving baits and go, right? Yeah, and, and like, uh, I mean, that's that's going to be my game plan is see exactly how many miles you can cover in a day. And uh, I don't particularly like to fish that way. It's not, it's not my strength. But uh, this time of the year, you will get your teeth kicked in by guys who are good at doing it yeah so and, and that's the game plan but um 
like I said, the bait king right now, especially bait positioned right. Um, like well, you can run in a lot of these creeks right now, and they'll uh, they'll be barren of bait. It's kind of weird. Um, and at the exact same time, you can run into one an eighth of a mile up the lake, and it looks like you can walk on it. Yeah. There's so much in it. So, um, natural feeder creeks are going to have a lot to do with it. It's places that fish naturally migrate to. Um, when it gets super cold, the fish will kind of get into pockets and stuff like that. But fish tend to migrate in natural creeks. And by what I mean by that is creeks that have major water inflows into them year-round. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that needs to be kind of a, a prime objective but like i said the the main thing is gonna be keep your foot on the gas keep your foot on the troll motor don't lollygag chew it up spit it out and keep on going yep lots of casts maybe a lot of different baits thanks josh appreciate it brother well good morning everyone this is dan o'sullivan with your bucks island area fishing report for saturday november the 11th hey today is the start of the coosa river team trail championship on neely henry lee what are these guys going to face on neely henry this week it's going to be like it's been most of the year you're going to have a handful of these guys that are just going to crush them and a lot of the other guys are going to struggle and catching some small fish you know catching numbers but small fish but man from what i'm he hearing at neely right Right now even with the water levels down man the big ones are eating and, and it's one of those deals where i think the guys that get up in there with spinner bait and uh you know just kind of bear down looking for that five six bites a day that's the guys that's going to have the, the weight of just staying you know staying in there staying strong staying with the same thing all day long and just making it pay off yeah i know my, my friend jeff and i fished the Poor folks open tournament this week, and, and we had 1342, and I think that kind of put us middle of the pack, but we had a couple of really good ones. Yeah, it, the better ones are eating right now. Yeah, it's everything I'm hearing from Neely is that's where you want to be because those fish, like I said, they're they're not in, they're not wadded up. You know, they're not just sitting there in the wad. You've got to cover some water for them, but uh, the good fish are eating right now. What about the crappie bite on Neely? You hearing anything out of that? A little bit. It, you know, it, this weather is kind of playing a factor in it, too. These crappie are wanting it to get wintertime. It, Neely, it's, it's the same thing. They're out there getting on some of that timber and on some of that deeper brush. If you can, right now with the dock situation, you know, there's not hardly any water for a lot of the docks to fish. But main thing, looking for that brush, getting off, uh, you know, on the breaks and on some of that drops and turns on the river where they can kind of hold out there and just set in those brush piles and those stumps. And you can still catch them out there. All right, let's turn our attention to Weiss Lake. We got about a minute left. I know it's not been super wonderful up there, but I know they're still catching a few. Weiss is still, it's still tough at Weiss. I mean, just to say crappie and bass right now, we're, we're struggling with our bass. You know, we had a tournament last weekend down in Leesburg, 17 something one. You know, that sounds great. They had, they had a good stringer of fish, but then you look at second place and it's 13 pounds and then third place is 11. So, I mean, it really fell off pretty quick on that weiss is just and when we got plenty of water there right now i don't know what's going on there, there's just something that's not right water temperature you're still looking at mid 60s uh it, it's come up a little bit you know with the sunshine and the heat we've had this last week but it's just either you, you make a two or three of the right decisions and happen to get a good fish here and there but everybody else they're catching numbers but they're just catching small fish lee as always brother we appreciate everything we'll talk to you again next week all right guys y'all have a good weekend and go out there and put it on them. good morning everyone this is dan o'sullivan with your bucks island area fishing report for saturday november 11th hey we're joined by tom ott who's going to talk a little bit of gunnersville fishing Tom, I got to fish Neely Henry on Saturday, and we caught him pretty decent. I'm sure that that cold snap probably helped Gunnersville a little bit. How was it? Oh, yeah, it absolutely kickstarts those fish when you get that little, uh, when you get that real cold air come in and you get that big drop of water temperature. I, I think uh, what, two weeks ago we were sitting around uh, the, the low 70s, and now we're somewhere down in the uh, mid and mid 50s, mid and upper 50s, I think uh, is what I saw Saturday. So, yeah, man, it really just fires those fish up. It's crazy how it, uh, it's almost, you know, from being on the Tennessee River, it's almost like a uh, current. You turn that current on, the fish kick on, the same thing kind of happens. And uh, you know, those bait fish get a lot more balled up, and those fish really start to pound on them. That being said, I think, uh, you know, the best bass bite's been uh, still being that A-rig. I mean, as far as just numbers uh, and just making you feel like a pro, uh, that a rig's really hot right now, you know, uh, it, it's going to catch some fish. Now, uh, 
the single swim baits coming on, you know, we're starting to get to that time of the year where we're seeing a lot of wind and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like to fish in the wind, but uh, this is the time, guys, where that's going to push that bait up there. The wind's really going to position those fish and the bait and anything that's moving like that. Uh, you know, uh, I know people like to throw a trap in the spring, but, uh, you know, it's a good time to throw a trap out there right now, too. Spinner yeah, bait, trap, uh, all going to catch fish. Square bill, I think, uh, as you can attest on Neely Henry, I think the, the crankbait bite was real good, and, and the same thing's happening in Gunnersville right now for sure. Yeah, I, I know the lipless crankbait is a sleeper in the fall, and not, a, not an awful lot of people throw it, um, but it does produce some really strong bites, lift and fall, even straight retrieve works. I saw that you and St. Jennifer did a little bit of crappie fishing again. You threw some slabs around. How's yeah. the crappie bite? You know, it, it is definitely improving. Um, I, I think uh, it's still a little difficult to get on a big wad of fish, but, you know, uh, over the weekend, it, you know, we had high pressure. Uh, uh, everybody knows that that usually suppresses the fish a little bit. So the the bite was really strong early uh, during the the you know low light conditions, if you will. It got worse as the day progressed, and then as the evening came on, it started to pick up again. So if I was going to go, I would definitely try to to hit it very very early. Uh, the as far as the causeways go, I mean, there's bait just everywhere. I'm yeah. still kind of looking at those eight, 10, six foot edges of grass where the bait's coming through. And that seems to be where they're all congregated, but we still haven't seen the big groups. Uh, caught a few off treetops, few off of stumps, but the majority of them were just kind of wolf packs rolling through. Tom, brother, we appreciate it. Thanks for the time. We'll talk to you again next week. All right, guys, y'all be safe. Tight lines. We'll see you next week. Well, that'll do it for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for this week. Thanks to the guys. We appreciate everything that they do every week to help us put a few more fish over the gunnels of our boats. Don't forget to stop on by Bucks Island. We got pontoon boats. We got bass boats. We got tin boats. We got ski boats. We got all kinds of stuff you want to take a look at. That runabout might be waiting here for your family. We got the parts to help you keep it running, the service department to do the same, and if you're looking for that special tackle item, we've got it in the loft. Stop on by Bucks Island because you are appreciated. Thanks for being who you are, and we'll talk to you again next week.